All right, in this video, we are going to take a look at my NeoVim setup for NeoVim 0.5 Plus and Rust 2021 Plus. So let's take a look. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure that we have Rust Analyzer downloaded and running. So if you go into wherever you keep your source code for different tools that you use, make sure that you go in and you pull the latest for Rust Analyzer. If you don't already have the source code down, then you can go and clone the repo and bring it down, put it wherever you like. Then once you do that, what you wanna do is build and run the language server. You don't need the VS Code extension and other things that are in this repo. You just need to run the server. So you do that by running cargo x task install and it takes the server. It just installs and runs the server for you. Now this takes a little bit of time so we will just skip ahead a bit but when it's done it will be set up and installed and ready to go. Once that's finished, you can take a look at your version and make sure that you have the latest. Then what you want to do is go to a Rust code base. So in this case, I'll go to Delta and I'll open up Source Edits. And we can take a look at what we get with some of the settings I'm going to show you. One of them will be tree sitter. And we can see here that we have a lot of tree sitter goodness going there, and I'll show you where to get that. So TS buff toggle. With the Rust Analyzer, you get inlay hints. You can see some of the different options we get here from the Rust NVIM Tools plugin. And you can see that we have our runnables, which are different tests. And so if we run the tests here, it takes a little bit of time, but you can see that the test passed and what you're seeing there is tree sitter highlighting instances in this annotated plus lines. If we go here, look at tokenize, we get a nice definition here. And this is actually the declaration. Here you see the string slice definition. Now, if I wanted to go in the string slice definition and read all about it, I can. Same with the deck here, and you see that I have this option to go to the 70 different implementations. You see I can go all the way through here, and if I wanted to go here, then I could. And you see the quick fix list gets populated. Now let's take a look at some completion. So if I say let mute talks and then we'll just say vec and you can see that I get some nice information in the hover there and also for the macro if I wanted to use that and then for new you see I can see the signature there new gives me the new so if I wanted to do if let it'll type that all out for me and then if i wanted to see what my lsp diagnostics were in telescope you can see i'm getting all the errors and all the infos from all over the place all right now where is all this coming from and how do you get it well you need rust analyzer and as i said you need to clone the repo and 
run the install command. Then you have this Rust Tools, and you can go through and check that out, but you saw before that we used the runnables. And you'll definitely want tree sitter so that you can get nice highlighting along with getting your scope and other things showing. And then this is the rust.vim plugin. It's up to you if you want to use this. You might be used to using some of this stuff like the rust format command or running the test under cursor and that sort of thing. All right, so let's take a look at these plugins here. So this one is the original here, the rust.vim, and you can kind of decide if that's something you want to keep. Here is the Rust Tools and Vim. And then here with Rust Analyzer, you'll want to have your capabilities on attach, on attach. You're using Rust Analyzer. You do have some options around here, proc macros, and then you can see here that I've also added that Rust Tools, which was this guy here. Okay, and then I'm obviously I'm getting completion from Compy here. You definitely want to use Compy. Then some of the stuff that you saw in Tree Sitter was this refactor plugin. There's a smart rename, highlight definitions. Then you have your navigation enable, and these are different things you can set up if you have the refactor plugin. Playground is not in scope for this video, but definitely check that out and you want to check out Refactor. The diagnostics here, where I'm not using virtual text. I do like the underlines. I don't need it to update and insert. And this here sends the diagnostics to the quick fix list. So all this is available in the What's That Smell repo under my public dot files. You can take a look at that and steal them. Everything that you need to have is in the Lua Joel config and the Lua Joel plugins. And then all the key bindings and things that I have are in the mappings here. One thing you'll want to do is make sure that you TS install Rust so that you get the Rust tree setter highlighting and the rest of the tree sitter goodness and obviously you'll want telescope which currently i'm bringing in locally we need compy and lsp kind i'm not using signature with rust you'll want tree sitter tree sitter refactor and rust tools and you should be good to go well i hope that was helpful thank you for watching please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time with more fantastic content.